Now, the primary suspect in a West Bank arson attack which left three members of the same family dead is to be charged with murder in the coming days. The youngest of the Dawabsha family was an 18-month-old baby who died immediately in the attack in Douma last July. His parents died from their wounds later in hospital. The only family member to survive was their son, Ahmed. The suspect's indictment is expected within five days. Now, there are reports that the U.S. has been spying on Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's private communications. The Wall Street Journal says his conversations were monitored during U.S. nuclear negotiations with Iran. Rosalind Jordan has more from Washington, D.C. The Israeli government is suggesting that it may file a formal complaint with the Obama administration because of allegations published in the Wall Street Journal that the White House has continued to spy on the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and on other top Israeli officials. The journal story suggests that the Obama administration continued to uh, spy on the Israeli government because of concerns that Israel was going to try to find a way to derail the negotiations between the P5 plus 1 and Iran over that country's nuclear program. Even though the White House has not formally uh, condemned or rejected the story, officials unnamed in the Wall Street Journal piece suggested that they had to continue doing things uh, like this for national security purposes. It's something which one Israeli official said on Wednesday that friends just don't do to each other. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.